Hello and welcome back again, everyone. For today's all new video, we will be exploring the deleted scenes of my much anticipated sequel, The Artifact Part 2. And today's guest, I'm joined by the original antagonist of The Artifact 2. It is Mr. Ben Manse. Hello. Some of our viewers might know you from Plagiarism Pictures, your Instagram film creation service. Would you like to tell us a bit about that? We just kind of take the out of films. It's not very good, to be honest. The production value is poor. The actors are awful. It's on Instagram. Give that a watch if you can be bothered. And of course, your rip-off of the artifact, the Shartifact. The rip-off of the artifact, the Shartifact, is on uh, Pages and Pictures on Instagram. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. So definitely give them a look. So I think we should jump right in to the deleted scenes. And we're going to be showing you a scene now, which was originally shot many, many months ago with Finley McCall Smith and Thomas Mountain. With some story changes, it's now not going to make it into the final film, unfortunately. We begin this scene with Thomas suddenly appearing in front of the camera, and that was a nod to Star Wars Episode Seven in the desert on Jakku. The idea was that he's going into the future. What, where there's roads? Yes. The, okay. The white very clearly against the black of the thief laying against the road. All this grey of the setting, which was shot at York Sport, blends really nicely in with the collector's costume, kind of orbiting around the collector. You'll see this move utilised quite a lot. And we have the thief, played by Finley McCall Smith, very sinisterly rise up there. This wasn't going to ever be in The Artifact 2, but I think it's quite good quality. I completely agree. It's a lovely scene. This is the first time we see the Collector in the Artifact 2. It's a stark contrast to the Collector we were left with at the end of the Artifact 1. Always very calm and collected, taking his time to capture the thief. We begin on this really nice fern shot, gives a false sense of security. Suddenly, the Collector runs past. The shaky camera really adds to the atmosphere. The way the camera follows is very nice because you don't know who's following him. I love the kind of filter that's on this scene, contrasted with such a lovely setting. Suddenly, we see the blood on his hand very clearly there. It was tomato ketchup, I seem to remember. It was tomato ketchup. Again, we're gently tilting down the trees, a move I often like to utilise. And we see Sam Turner hidden in the ferns there, awaiting Thomas. Now, we just thought this shot, it was a bit unrealistic to have in the final cut. We didn't want the collector to be attacked so early on. We thought he needed more time to enforce this feeling of tension before he met with the criminal members in what would later be called the chase sequence. In the end, despite this not making it into the final cut, I liked how it looks, so I'm glad we found a home for it in the deleted scenes. This scene, uh, this took ages to film, even though we didn't end up using it, because the two gang members failed to walk correctly. And we are James Hopkins and Sam Turner. They both had to turn towards each other to suggest that they were the best of the best. So everything had to be timed perfectly. Yeah, we had to wait for about an hour because there were people constantly walking and Ollie didn't want them in the shot. Understandably so. We just see these three characters walk into the endless field, which I'm sure the viewers will see was utilised in the final cut. This field just stretches out into the distance and that's why it was chosen as a location. The chase sequence... Final product's really nice. I just really like the way the tension is suddenly ramped up quickly. I agree. Trinity Barson here, slowly walking across the field. This very slow walk adds a level of sinisterness to the character. Here we have alternate injuries for the collector. What I really like about this one is the way the camera follows him from in front. This one from the side. I like how the camera kind of drifts after we see the collector fall over. The third option here. Ben, that is you. Doesn't even look like me. You're all decked out in your balaclava gear, that's why. I do like the ending of this scene, particularly. We did do this um, shot again, just with a longer tracking shot of Sam Turner's feet. It's just longer to build up the tension more before that knocking out. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ben's feet didn't make it in in this occasion, but I'm sure the viewers will understand in the final cut. I'm sad that that didn't make it in, because I do love the suddenness of it and the way it suddenly cuts. Ollie kept making him put his ketchupy hand all over his shirt. Well, the things we do for the job, really. So, the confrontation sequence began with Thomas dragged by Will Nicholson and Mia. In the final cut, he was dropped with a lot more violence. Here we see Finn emerge from the mounds. In the final cut, something very similar happens. It's just we have three gang members, and Thomas stands up to meet him. 
But I really like the way he very sinisterly emerges. I just think the seclusion of the setting really adds to the intentions behind such a complicated plan, which we will find out in the Artifact 2 when it is released, but it's a very interesting dynamic. So, I hope you've all enjoyed today's deleted scene exploration with Ben Mansi. Thank you for guest starring, Ben. No worries. I'd just say it was a great time working with you. It's been great, Ollie. I wish I could spend all day on a Zoom call with you. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you, Ben. It's unfortunate that you couldn't make it into the final cut more. Thanks for deleting all my help on the artifacts. Um, and I'm Bye. sure...